I think the biggest uh, challenge is to cope uh, with the uh, public demand. Uh, because uh, in our main, in big cities, uh, especially in Europe, but also all over the world, more and more people are using the uh, public transport, either in the developing countries because of the price of, of fuel and also the environmental uh, concern, but also in uh, developing countries uh, uh, because of the uh, growing uh, numbers of inhabitants of these cities and the traffic jam they are uh, hindering every day. So we have um, several ways of dealing with this uh, challenge in Paris. Uh, we are right now building new infrastructures, especially a tramway. We are building 70 kilometers of tramway uh, around Paris. And we have uh, launched uh, uh, the government of France and the region of uh, Paris in de France have launched a major project called Grand Paris. And the project is to connect uh, the main economic uh, centers so, for example, the airport, the university, the business center, with a network of 130 kilometers uh, with uh, four stations and a fully automated uh, metro that will run uh, 24 hours a day and which is a huge project of uh, 35 um, billion euros. So it's the first way to, uh, to uh, answer the question. And the second way is to use the existing uh, capacities, the existing uh, lines, to increase their capacity with the automat automatization of this uh, line. We have already a driverless line in Paris with line 14, and we are operating in it since uh, 12 years, and we have learned about the advantages of the driverless line, so it's the reason why we are right now uh, transforming Line 1, which is the historical line of Paris, into a, a driverless line. We have begun last December and we are going to have uh, the total implementation uh, at the end of this year. And it will give us the opportunity to increase the capacity of 20% on this line, which is a very good way uh, to, uh, to uh, uh, offer, uh, to have more offer uh, in front of growing demand. I think there are two uh, kind of uh, uh, important technologies. Uh, one is the signaling uh, technology. The one used uh, to uh, automatize, uh, to, to make automat automatization of lights or a driverless line. Uh, and the other one is uh, IT technology related to uh, ticketing information uh, to ensure that uh, uh, passengers have a better service in terms of uh, uh, easy way of. Uh, uh, entering the uh, metro system by uh, a smart uh, card of uh, ticketing and also a better way to, uh, to get uh, informed uh, with uh, information about traffic and about the uh, timetable uh, in, in real time before uh, going to, uh, to take a bus or to take a metro. So these uh, two kinds of technologies are going to be very important. I think it's uh, one thing. It's a, it's a very uh, well organized conference, so uh, um, everything is, is uh, fluent, well organized, and uh, and secondly, the um, the people attending the conference, either uh, the speakers or, or also the uh, people uh, attending it, are quite interesting and uh, are among the, the top. Uh, uh, managers of the uh, profession, so the uh, exchanges are also very interesting uh, uh, outside the session and during the breaks.